Cairo 7 investigation is prompting an outpouring of community concern about women panhandling with children. Despite their signs asking for cash, some of the women say they don't need housing and they have refused social services. Well, tonight, Cairo 7's Dave Wagner shows us what other cities are seeing and doing. Yes, for my baby, for my rent, no rent. I lost my job, too. Months ago. Over the past six months, I watched the vans drive uh, drive around and pick them up and drop them off. We've watched more than a dozen women with children in Seattle working in tandem. You have five kids? Mm. Holding signs and pleading for a handout. Where are you from? I'm from Romania. In San Francisco and New York, women begging with children has been a common sight. In the Bay Area, you'll find them on the streets and on BART trains. How long do you stay on the train? How many hours? Over the past six months, we've documented women begging with children in Kirkland, Snohomish, even inside a restaurant at South Center. While this woman goes table to table, panhandling with a sign, this girl sits and waits. While some of the children appear alert, others lie motionless. We've seen this woman on three occasions, holding children who appear to be in a deep sleep. Last month, a woman walking by was alarmed and hit record. Baby's not waking up. Did you drop the baby? You crazy. No, I'm not crazy. She's sleeping the baby. She is worried that the child, I'm going to keep following you, who the woman had been begging with for hours, isn't moving. He's sleeping. Okay, wake him up for me. Show me he will wake up. Why? Walk. That's concerning. We showed the video to the man who oversees Washington Child Protective Services. I'm, I'm concerned about that. Right. It's hard to imagine a baby doesn't wake up. And I will go look into it. Concern about women panhandling with kids in New York City prompted authorities to develop a plan. Child welfare authorities now respond more quickly before the women and children disappear from a location. Here in Washington, authorities say they have limited authority to intervene. So do I have a concern with the human being? Absolutely. My role as the leader of the child welfare system, though, is very constrained by the law about what we do. We've watched these women and children for six months. Their activity is clearly coordinated with the teams often arriving and leaving together. Today, we saw none of these women and children in the Westlake area. That's unusual considering we've seen them nearly every day. Dave Wagner, Cairo 7 News.